All right, guys, I'm, I'm just doing this real quick, and I want everybody to start doing advanced work. I also understand if you are not concise in the beginning, you're not going to be able to. It's, you're just not going to be able to. That's why none of these people can do any advanced work. Um, there's nothing concise about it, and so it's, it's going to fall apart. You know, and if you said, well, give me an example, well, driving a car, I mean, if you don't stay within the lines, you could go off-roading, that's not going to be a problem, but, you know, the second you want to be concise, so that's your job, not the dog's job, they don't, dogs don't know anything about concise, any more than they know anything about sloppy work, you know, so... Anyway, I've had to block Mike. He only liked the video, so let that be a warning to all of you. Mike's like, what? <laughs> uh, there's just so much to love about this work. All right, but I'm saying to myself, if I haven't been concise, it's going to come back to haunt me. And that's why I tell you guys, don't touch them. Don't do all these things. I need to be able, and again, I'm going to go back to my lines. Let me put my, let me put my filter on there because I think you can see the chalk better. Let me put my acid filter on there. Okay, here we go. All right, let me see if this makes the chalk better. You know, if you guys have to drive, and that's what, if you said, what do I see people doing? And, and if you said, well, what does the platform help? Oh, it can get you concise fast. So I think you've got to say to yourself, you know, if I'm tr planning on training this dog, even if I'm not taking it to a higher level, I do have to have, oh, Mike, oh, you're there. I unblocked you. Uh, that's the new formula. Anyone likes a video? That's it. They're gone. Mike's like, ah! And I'm going to need you to go back and redo, uh, that's what I made Jill do. I said, I need you to go back and redo every like into a love. <laughs> I'm sure she's still working on it. But that's, and, I, and I, I know you know this now, Mike, and that's why you can't rub their head, and that's why you can't do all these things. If I'm going to speak with my hands later, I, I better start from the, I can't change. It's going to be harder on me if I change the beginning. I think you guys need to have your platform and whether you need to have something a stepping stone or something that you're standing on so that the dog says it seems concerned with conciseness you know even from here I'm turning I don't think he's looking at me he's looking at the squirrel but I'm not telling him to do anything I could probably you know make the show be the deaf Doberman and people would buy it but you know I think that's what you have to think to yourself even if you had the dog inside that's what I, I'm not sure we shouldn't be doing this Mike and it can see you and it can see the platform and it sees you going like this I, I think that's where people go wrong they're factoring the dog in too much you know all I've got to do now is He's going to look over here and see me. You know, and I think if you said to yourself, I, you have to stay within that box, you're going to be more concise. And if you said why later, I'd want to be able to go like that. I think, you know, and I thought about this too, Mike. There's not two handlers we have to craft. There's many more. You've got to craft the stationary handler that's sitting, and then you know as well as I do, you can change that to the stationary handler that's standing, and they see it completely differently. They don't immediately, a lot of dogs, some of them do, but they don't translate the stationary standing handler, you know, as if I'm going to send him from right there. The same as the, the standing 
handler that's in motion, you know, or the motion handler that's upright motion handler. The stationary standing handler. Does that make sense? I know it makes sense to you. Um, but, you know, if I'm saying I'm going to be concise, I have to do that. The dog doesn't know concise. There's no concise in dogs. And if you said, how do I know that? Just ask Mark, because the reason those field trials are so hard is they say, make him go in a straight line. Make him go the straightest line he can get there. And they make him go through the water, get up on a little piece of land, get back in the water, swim, go up on the land, get the thing, go back, get in the land, go back over the little hump of water. You saw him just, he was, he was watching my hands the whole time. Um, because that's against a dog's general tendency, which is going to take the path of least resistance. Oh, he's looking at me. If you said, why didn't he jump? Because I'm too close to the platform. Hang on. For the jump, I need, I need a separate box. Yeah, he knows how to do it. But I'm using this hand very concisely. He understands it isn't. If you said petting it would convolute everything. I said, oh, for sure, for sure. All right, watch. This hand is, if you said, where is this hand going? You know, that's, that's your core. So that hand's always emanating from there. I think that's what you have to think of. This hand is operating this side of your body, and this hand is operating this side. If you're not doing it that concisely, it's not gonna work. Hello, Shy. That's what you have to think of. Here, let me get back to normal. But that's what you've gotta think of. If you're speaking to the dog with your body language, this hand is operating this side of your body, this hand is operating this side of your body. So, of that if you didn't do it like that you would limit yourself because you wouldn't be able to get in front of the dog he went before I told him and he went the wrong way hang on I want him to go the other way uh, so what I'm going to do is step this way ah! And if you said that's because you've sent him that way 500 times. Oh, I'm doing it. Sit. My job is not to correct him. I just want you to understand that. Sit. There's no correcting it for going the wrong way. And I think that's where people would go wrong. If you said, well, you need to correct him. No, I made an observation and realized that partly the way the platform's configured, and partly because I always send him that way, that's why he went that way. It's not my job to, okay, wait till he starts to go what I think is the wrong way, and then correct him. You can't do that. You've got to honestly think of the platform as the correction-free zone. So, Shy, that's what you need to do with that little dog of yours that's scared. If it's scared... You need to give it a zone where there's nothing to be scared of and everything to be happy about. All right, let me see if I can. I'm just trying to straighten him up, and I'm trying to let him know to go that way. I was giving him every signal, every signal in the book. See it? But you can see, he's, he's hair trigger ready to go. So the caveat of that's going to be, you're going to have to be more concise, but, but I'm not losing anything. That's why I want you guys to understand, I don't correct this dog. If you said which way he's going to go, he's going to go the way he's looking.
But I just, I don't know if you could hear it, but I just made him sit with that. Again, this hand goes out, gets the thing, is back. Your hands, maybe that's what we need to invent, Mike. Like a rubber band, oh, here it is, here it is. A rubber band harness thing that the people wear. And then it's hard for them to get their hand out away from their body. And so they won't keep doing it. I think they need to see you mechanically as that's how you operate. I don't think I used to stand like this. I'm sure I had my hands out much more. But if I'm not, all right, and I need to get in my second box. Again, there can't be any more of a signal for that. He doesn't need any more of a signal. Adrian? So if you're doing more of a signal, then you're just... I'm getting turned around. I think that's what you've got to think of, though. There's no correcting the dog. If the dog did get off there, you're putting it back up there. So whatever's happening isn't happening up there. It's happening. Oh, you can hear it? Yeah, this is the uh, 280, and I do understand my screaming and hollering at them to make, them str to make it stronger was the right thing to do, Mike, because in order to make it stronger, it had to get louder. And I didn't realize, remember before, I didn't realize that was anything to do with it, but now I do. Now I do. So my job is to make this go the way I want it to go. So I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna come back along this line. I'm gonna try to bend him this way. Bump him with the page or bend him. Bend him. And I don't like the way his body is. I'm already looking with my eyes. Ah, shh. See? And if you said, what was your clue? The way his body was. All right, hang on, sit. But I think that's what you have to think of. That's why this dog doesn't lose attitude. It's... doesn't think of the platform as I, you know, and you've got to say that to yourself. There isn't, there's only going to be observations about what the dog is doing there, not corrections. All right, so I can already see I got things going in my favor because he is looking that way, but he looked that way too. Let me straighten him up a little bit. You said what's... What needs to be more concise? His body. Now I need to move slightly this way. Good. But again, he's never gonna look, and this is what I want you guys to think the difference is the platform. If you've put one in a place and it's gotten up and you've gone back over there. Well, it's got a droopy look. It does, it do, you know, it's not gonna, and he can jump with this thing in his mouth, watch. He's not going to go there if he's been made to go there. He thinks he wants to go there. But if you, you know, you've got to be able to move on, I think, micro increments. Okay. 
you know, again, if my hands were rubbing his head and slapping his sides and, you know, it's not going to work. I mean, they're just, they're not going to know what the hell you're talking about. In horses, any of you guys that know horses, they call it quiet hands. So I think maybe we need to call it that in dogs, Mike. You know, that you've got to, your hands need to be more quiet unless they're saying something. Oh, Carlos, he's a monster. Oh, he's an absolute monster. He, he spends all his free time trying to get any small animals that exist in the world. Any of them. But I've got this. I really only have it on zero. And if you said, when would you use the nick? If I was going to give Angie Marie advice how to use the nick, it would be after you heard the barking. Because you guys heard that bark a minute ago. That's what happens when he sees the squirrel in the tree. And in his mind, the squirrel is teasing him, and so he barks at it. So he's reaching a level of excitement that he can no longer, you know, that's, he's now externalizing, you know, his, he can't, you know, he can't contain it, so he, he verbalizes it by externalizing. Uh, let me see if I can get him back with a silent recall, and if you said, how am I going to do that, and I do run with this dog at night, and I do do the silent recall if I can't see him, you're going to, you're going to, I've got my nick on 33. You're going to do your nick. I'm going to put it down to 25. You're going to hit your nick twice and then follow through with your pager. And I'm going to be, when he goes by there, he's going to see me moving. I'm not going to be, st this is what I'm not going to be doing. These are the things you shouldn't do for a recall. Now I have to call him. There he is. Honestly, if you said, why did he probably heard me talking? He probably heard me saying, I'm going to hit him with the nick, and he's like, no, you're not like that. But if, he's, if he sees me like this, my hands are quiet right now. And he's watching them. He's watching my hands. If you said, what is he doing? I don't know. I'm just making an observation. And he's never been made to stay up here. Arthur, I want you to think of it as if you continue to drive him there with the pager. It is the recall in reverse. It's the recall in reverse. So if you're driving him up there with it, no correction would ever happen on there. I think you guys have to, I think you have to set that, you have to carve that in stone, that no correction's gonna happen there because if it does, I'm shooting myself in the foot. You know, if I ever go somewhere one time and have bad food, I don't go back, never. You know, that's what you'd have to think of. Just I went there and it was a bad experience. Yeah, I'm gonna wanna go back there at some point, so. No, correction-free zone. All right, guys, I'll be right back.